Hello, welcome to Musher's Tales. So, we're uh, close to the house, and uh, quite a few deer, the snow is deep. So uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to uh, cut a tree that's uh, kind of in the way. And on the tree you have this moss right here. Ooh, get a better view, get the skyline. And that's a uh, deer, it's a super food for deer. It's good for them and uh, it's, it's good winter food. And uh, this tree has lots of it on it. So I wanna whack down the tree and uh, we'll set up a couple of trail cameras and we'll see the deer uh, feeding it. The tree is uh, right there, going up. Uh, I'm taking it down because uh, we look at the tree. Uh, it's got a terrible curve to it. And also, you look at the park. Tree's on its way out. So uh, take it down so just so we know which way it's going and it'll feed the deer at the same time. Uh, it doesn't matter if it hits that building at all. If I could snap my fingers and make that little thing go away there, I would. Uh, it does matter a lot though if it's going to hit this. <laughs> Don't want it hitting this at all. But uh, we'll be careful and uh, should make it fall right between both. And then we'll delimit, stop the trail cameras, wait a few days and see what happens. As an aside, uh, this is a, this is an old logging camp. Uh, it wasn't here, but somebody made it here, and we bought the, the land from them. And it was uh, about two and a half times bigger. If you look, you see the stairs over there, the stairs. Uh, it was about two and a half times bigger. And a couple of winters ago, uh, it collapsed. Way to the snow. Uh, it's uh, held together with buckles, and the buckle let go, and we had a dandy mess to pick up, and we lost a lot of stuff that were inside. We lost tons of stuff that got just flattened. Uh, just it just kind of exploded. So uh, we kind of cut it down, and we still have more junk inside. So just shows you the weight of the snow. So let's just say we shoveled it off this year. So we'll uh, we'll get things going. I brought two saws with me. Got two trail cameras. Bag of stuff I need. I brought two saws because. With the cold, you always have a saw buggering up, so hopefully I just have to use one. But uh, if all of a sudden we're jammed halfway through or something, I have another one just in case. Hands. Nothing like holding a metal gas container in 20 below weather. This is how thick this is. You see how cold it is. Good little trick when you have a oil container. Instead of taking off the aluminum cap, you just put two holes in it and you can control the flow a little bit. And you squeeze and out it comes. Warm up the saw.
actually fell right where we wanted it. So position two cameras, one in that big poplar tree there, and one on a spruce tree right there. A tree I cut was a balsam fir, by the way. So, and uh, not as close as last year. Last year I had the cameras uh, three or four feet away from where I thought the deer would be, and it worked out perfectly with the, the doe and her fawn. Uh, this year there's a big buck going around. Uh, we saw him about a week to 10 days ago and he still had his antlers on and a nice big wide rack big animal so uh, I know there's three deer around for sure and they're through the woods here there's trails everywhere uh, this 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 is where they're hanging out but I mean few deer trails They're sinking in pretty deep. A pack of wolves went by yesterday on the woodlot, let's say uh, two kilometers from here. So I'm seeing if they went by here. So this is, uh, this is uh, what, three days later? Three days later? So I'm gonna pick up the cameras. We uh, got a few tracks here and there. I'll tell you, when you stop off the trail a little bit. So, got some old tracks here. Maybe there are tracks. Here's one camera, pick that up. Uh, this one here doesn't seem to be fed too much on. Oh, there's some tracks here. Some deer tracks here. And some deer tracks here. Going in and out. And eating. So. Hopefully, we have a few pictures. We can see that a lot of that moss is gone. Still lots left though, which is good. But you can see they, uh, there's some eating going on. 
a bit of eating going on, so that's that's just good. And home we go. So this is, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 days later. Uh, I came the day after, but I messed up the cameras. I hadn't put the right setting. They were brand new cameras. I didn't uh, know how to use them properly. So I had nothing on the cameras, even though the, the deer came. And then by the time I come back, and by the time I uh, figured out how to use the cameras, which hopefully I did this time, so, uh, yeah, I'll pick up the cards and see what's what. Having a little bit of a, uh, a snowfall now. Did you see it? It's, uh, this morning I was snow blowing. I was snow blowing actually in my shirt with a vest this morning. Now the temperature is dropping. And as the temperature is supposed to be 30 below tonight, but as the temperature drops, obviously uh, some snow is falling and quite a bit of snow fell, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll pick up these camera cards and then uh, we'll go to the house and we'll check them out. Hard to tell if this is working or not, I don't know. Anyways. There we go. One more to check. And if it didn't work, I, well, we'll try, try another time. So we have a few uh, videos. Let's see what we've got.
The second uh, camera didn't work well. I don't know if the the card was full or whatever. I messed up. So uh, the only ones I shots I have are of, uh, the ones you just saw. So that's the end of this video. So feeding the deer, they're still going. And uh, if they need more food, well, we'll cut down another tree. So thanks for watching. Till the next time.